Hello and welcome back to Surface Noise. Thank you for being here. So for today, I'm going to uh, show off a few uh, recent pickups in the last month or so, mostly in October, but a few before that, I think. And so let's get into it. Starting off, we have Spaceman 3. This is the second Spaceman 3 that I have picked up recently. And this is a live album from them called uh, Performance. Really good, just as good as the other one. I've been extremely impressed actually with everything I've heard since I've picked up of theirs. I pretty much want to get everything now. Anything I can find by them, I'll probably buy. But this is a great record, just as good live as they are uh, in studio. So awesome record, highly recommended. Same day, I also picked up uh, the first thing I bought by these guys. This is The Smile. This one is called Wall of Ice, which I guess came out this year, I think. I think they put out two records this year. I do have some Radiohead, so I'm, you know, familiar. Listen to, listen to all the Radiohead, but, you know. So just, uh, yeah, I, I, I'd listen to some of the stuff digitally. Uh, first, first time I dove into it. I liked it all. I think this is a pretty cool record. It's a nice uh, blue vinyl as well. But yeah, it, it's quite uh, well done. You can, uh, very dramatic at times. I felt they really did a good job in uh, using different instruments to create uh, emotion and, and effect to really emphasize the songs to really make them pop so this is great and i'm hoping to get i know they have three hoping to pick up the other two at some point the new one sounds really good so i'll be happy to uh you know get that hopefully in the near future cutout should be pretty easy to come across so it's uh, just just released and all that another one that i uh have picked up which i have needed for a long time i don't know why it took so long but this is nine inch nails the downward spiral i've heard this record tons but uh first First time I've owned it on vinyl. I think I may have had the CD back in the day, but but you know, this has got all the uh, classics like Closer and uh, other things. Hurt. Uh, there's a few, of course. This is a very well known record. I'm glad to add it in, and uh, it's just a. I think it's a recent reissue, so not an original or extra special pressing, but still pretty cool. Uh, this here is some electronic music. This is like a dub down tempo type thing. I'd never heard of it, but. The, Local record store highly recommended it, and it's great. But this one here is a 12-inch single. The band is called Ott, or the, I think it's just one guy. His, his name is, he goes by Ott. And this is a uh, fancy looking little bit of yellow. But it's cool, this is about a six or seven minute track on each side. Mr. Balloon Hands and Baby Robot, pretty cool. Um, highly recommended if you like that kind of dub down tempo stuff. And I like that one so much that the next week I went up and picked a full record. This is a different one. I think this is a little earlier. I think that one came out this year. This is from the previous. I think this is 22 or 23, if I recall. But this is the full length. It's basically a double album. Even better, actually, to be honest. That only had, the other one only had two songs, so it's hard to compare, I guess. But I really love this. I've listened to this numerous times now. And uh, this is an amazing uh, piece of work. This one is called... I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not even sure what this one's called. I can't... Heads? I guess. I think at the bottom it says heads and on the side it says heads, so maybe that's it. I can't even remember now, but it's hard to see because if you look at the album art, it's not too clear, aside from all the pictures and even the spine is a little, uh, but anyway, it's uh, probably called heads. But this is great. Awesome. Ott, O-T-T. -T. If you get a chance, check them out. I highly recommend it. Uh, next up, another must-have, another album I have taken a long time to pick up, but I'm glad I finally did. This is Liz Fair. Exile in Guyville, my favorite of hers, and one of my favorite records of the 90s, to be honest. I believe this is a 93 on Matador. Uh, great uh, uh, response to Exile on Main Street, apparently. So, But yeah, I've listened to this a ton. This is a great record, and I'm glad to finally get my hands on it. Next up, nice to finally get some more jazz. It's been a while since I picked anything up, so managed to get uh, John Coltrane, and this is my favorite things. This is amazing really great. Um, I think I'm up to like five John Coltrane records now, so it's pretty cool. Really, really like this as much as anything I have by him, to be honest. It's probably my second or third favorite after listening to it, so John Coltrane, my favorite things. Another thing I'm surprised it took me years to finally get a copy of this one. Underground and Nico. This is uh, Velvet Underground with the banana on the cover. This has heroin on it. There she goes again Sunday morning. It has, it's like a this could be like a greatest hits. There's so many good songs on there. It's, it's absolutely insane. It's on Verve Records. I hope you can see that label there. But uh, yeah, very happy to finally get some more. And I've recently, I recently picked up Coney Island by Lou Reed, so I'm kind of expanding the Lou Reed sections of my collection, which is pretty nice. I don't didn't have nearly enough. Another thing, this is 
something I have never really come across in record stores too much, but I did have the CD when it came out and I really like it. And this is pretty on the inside, full. I was happy to see this and uh, reasonable price too. I don't think it was too expensive with that. Yeah. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, this has got uh, Teenage Horror. And uh, what's the other one? There's Pretty on the Inside was also a, a notable song, but this is, yeah, sort of the 91. So just before she uh, got a little more famous, but uh, a solid record, very good. I really, really like that. Probably my favorite of, of the whole record, to be honest, because it just seems very in tune with, with her personality, to be honest. It seems more accurate compared to the other more um, pop melodic type stuff she came up with later even though that was great too another one sub i got the cd I've had it for years got lots of sub cds first record i'm in i picked up so so i figured it's a good idea start with big sale it's one of their best i'd like to get as many as possible that and dinosaur jr two things i want to get more of this is a reissue on i guess it's like a clear vinyl it's not really clear i guess it's more of a gray or something it looks clear in here but on the camera it looks more like gray but Anyway, yeah, License to Confuse, uh, Skull, I think Skull was a single, and Rebound is a good one, Got It, it's a solid record, this guy's, Lou Barlow is just a, such a great songwriter. A um, couple more here, around wrap things up, this is, I uh, believe, a Canadian Vancouver band, I'm pretty sure, this is Death Sentence, this is early 80s, I think 81, 82. Um, punk rock from this way. Really good. If you get a chance to listen to them, it's uh, worth checking out. They were pretty political too at the time. There's a lot of reference to politics and the government and not liking the government. So, And to wrap things up, we have Dead Kennedys. Not the first I have. I have a single, but the first full length. And this is a, actually an EP anyway. It's in God We Trust. It has the Nazi punk song and a few others on the Alternative Tentacles label, which is really cool. It's been a while since I've seen that label. I used to have a lot of the CDs, but this is the first vinyl. So anyway, that is what I got in the last month or so. Um, hope you enjoyed seeing those. Thanks for being here. Um, I'll be back again next week with another one and have a great week and see you next time.